Okay, so for some reason, the game that I was playing earlier and recorded earlier did not have sound after the one minute mark. So I'm going to attempt to do a post commentary over here and hope that I don't destroy the video quality too much. So I was playing Insectors versus his windups. Uh, and well, I guess we're going into the game. I win the Rock, Paper, Scissors, opt to go first, of course. Um, I don't know if you can read the chat. I honestly can't either, so. <laughs> I open Sangin, Torrential, Fiendish Chain, Hopper, Hornet, Armageddon Knight. Uh, all fairly standard. All these cards are pretty good against windups. I have a fairly ideal hand aside from the Armageddon Knight. Opening up with Hornet plus basically two Insector Monsters because of the Sangin made it pretty solid. I just play fearlessly of Storm because MST is honestly more of an issue than Storm is because there's three, two or three MSTs versus the one of Storm. And here I just snap Torrential. <laughs> as good as Torrential is, I kind of want to get my Sangin Search, get that Dragonfly out of the deck, etc. Because while Thunder King itself isn't really a problem for Insectors usually, if you had like a bottomless trap bowl there, it might have actually taken over the game. And then I top deck the best card in my deck. Don't want to play it, obviously, but eh. So I have a uh, Dragonfly plus Hopper. I think I go Dragonfly, Hopper, get Centipede, or something. Maybe just someone I'm getting that. I don't remember which I did. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, I just summoned I'm getting that. Make sure he has no responses, then search through the deck. I believe I sent the Ladybug here. Like, I have mixed feelings about Ladybug in this deck. Uh, one, it's basically, you're basically playing it because you can't play four hoppers. I would much rather play a fourth hopper over the Ladybug. I don't think I've ever really used its level ability. And honestly, its leveling is more bad for me than good for me, because it mixes up my levels, and I'd rather just have threes most of the time. Um, uh, what else is... Yeah, uh, it's 500 attack, so it doesn't really apply pressure when you summon it with the Hornet in your graveyard. You can't just loop Hornet and attack him every turn like you can with Hopper, whereas 17 body with Hopper is actually relevant. But I also don't want to cut it for something like Insector Sword, which can just be straight up dead in your hand, because at least Ladybug helps you enable your combos or uh, support your combos through. Here I just fearlessly summon the Dragonfly, because if he has the Warning, I have the Reborn, and if he has the Bottomless, then it's getting popped and I get to be anyway. So basically that was pretty free. And I get my engine online. He's somewhat surprised by this. <laughs> Somehow, because sending Ladybug to the grave wasn't a sign I already had Hornet, but eh, whatever. So, yeah. Hornet comes down, pop his back row first, right? Yep. And get Dragonfly effect, because he does not have Valor. I explained that it should have been obvious that I had the Hornet. Summon the Centipede. Centipede back. Hornet. Pop is, I believe it was a Magician down. Now, it, these games were not treating him well. He was not drawing good cards at all. But granted, the wind-up deck doesn't always open insane. That's part of one of its, its big weaknesses that it uses... That's why it plays cards like Snowman Eater, because it protects you to get through to like the mid-game where your deck can just explode. Of course, when you open the turn one combos, it's insane, but you don't always have that. And this deck is really good at stopping the mid-game pressure because you just have these kind of setups that are almost impossible for the deck to break. So I pass the turn after attacking for 4,000? Yeah, 4,000. Um, yeah, I explain the position looks terrible for him, and he draws his card, and I believe he concedes immediately. Or concedes without playing a card or something. Or explains so he could... Oh yeah, he just concedes. Okay. So I asked him if he wants to side. I believe he said we're not siding, because he didn't have a sideboard on Dueling Network. Uh, I'm not actually sure what happens post-board. I side in uh, two goes in matches, uh, two needle ceilings. Probably I'm cutting the deck devastation viruses for something else to help other matchups. But they're in there right now. I side in the Torrential Tribute, and maybe MSTs? Probably not. MST is more of a Game 3 kind of thing, whereas if they side in something like Prohibition, I have an out to it. But, uh, yeah, that's basically what I'd be doing here. I'm not quite sure what he'd be doing. I'm not very familiar with the wind-up deck sideboard right now. Probably something I should look into before the regional this weekend. Draw another extremely good hand. 
Uh, I asked him if he has Magician plus Shark, because, well, that's what you do against my Dutch, right? Constantly just asking everybody if they have the nuts. He replies, if only. Set to back row and ends the turn. So this basically shows that he doesn't have anything. So I just summon the... Uh, I summon the Dragonfly because... I'm not sure why. I think I just wanted to get it online to play around Warning, but it seems really bad in hindsight. I think a much better play would just be to summon the Centipede here. I'm not sure what my thought process was here. I mean, it ended up working out because I got a pretty big field off of it, but... I'm not entirely sure why I did this. Oh, I think my plan was to uh, just go Hopper plus Dragonfly, Horn uh, Hornet plus Dragonfly into Leviathan Dragon immediately. But then I realized I didn't have Leviathan Dragon in my extra deck, and I didn't really want to try to Giga Brilliant out. So I have to just to pass for this field, which is fine. It's just with the back row I had, so I can really gain a lot of field control next turn. With the uh, Dragonfly, I get Hopper, Sack the Hopper, I get Centipede. Uh, hopper on Centipede, sack the uh, Hopper, Centipede searches another hop, uh, Dragonfly, oh, whoa. Centipede searches another Centipede, then Centipede plus Hornet makes Giga Brilliant, yeah. So I'm basically just hoping he doesn't have Storm plus combos this turn, because I just die to that with his hand. I'm pretty sure I just die to that no matter what, but yeah. This deck's not good against Storm. Uh, my current build, I'm playing two Dark Bribes instead of one. I didn't change it for this match on Dueling Network, because I didn't realize I didn't change it on Dueling Network. <laughs> um, so yeah, I begin doing stuff. I didn't want to attack here, because I figure he... I know he's playing Dimensional Prison from Game 1, and I know we didn't sideboard, so we're basically just playing Game 1s. In a tournament, I probably would have... I definitely would have attacked Game 2, because... He's obviously siding out Dimensional Prisons and Mirror Forces against Insectors, because those cards are just straight terrible. And here I just go and do the plays I explained last turn. Sack the Hopper for another Centipede. Yeah, here the Dragonfly play ended up working out really well, but I don't think it worked out in the way that I thought it was going to. I ended up getting a ton of cards off of it, so I guess I can't complain. So if I did the centipede play, I would have been able to pop his back row this turn. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm pretty sure the centipede play was just better on turn two. It seems really bad. As I have issues with dueling network. Explain to him how I forgot Leviathan Dragon from my extra deck. And yeah, I just turn it to defense. Set a warning. Uh, I wasn't really worried about Storm, because I figure if he has Storm, I'm dead no matter what. So I don't even bother playing around it. I'm playing around more just him comboing off really hard off a bunch of held ca cards. Because really, him not playing cards isn't really a sign of weakness. It could very easily be a sign of strength, especially against a deck like Insectors. Maybe he's just holding a bunch of combos to try to uh, see if he has the Storm. But as we'll see in a moment, he doesn't actually have anything. So, send a dollar to the graveyard. <laughs> he shows me the dimensional prison, so I was right to not attack. Ask me if he's got combos. He says no. I believe he just summons a tour guide, makes Leviathan Dragon. Beats over the dragonfly. And we begin the slow and very much favorable grind. <laughs> Yeah, so basically I'm just in a race to top deck a back row before he top decks combos. And I don't know what point of the combos yet. Like right now, when he's summoning the store guide, I'm kind of worried he's going to go like complete nuts with uh, Zen. My Zen. Zen Mighty. Zen Mighty, yeah. The carrier. Like I was afraid he was going to go like Zen Mighty Shark. Uh, and just do ridiculous stuff there somehow and clear my board and. Then set a trap, so set like a warning and completely ruin me. But no, he has nothing. So he passes. I draw a black garden, which is really nice here. I, I don't want to play it now, but. Like if I popped the Leviathan Dragon here, I would have just slammed a black garden on the table. 
but here I'm yep, Hornet, spell trap zone. And he's going to chain MST to this. This takes a minute to resolve. He's asking if he can if he's asking if he can chain the MST, I'm like, yeah, you can. And then I get my centipede search as soon as he does this. Yep, so he plays the NST on the hopper. Uh, I get my centipede search. I think I just grab another hopper, yeah. Because again, Ladybug's just terrible. I never actually want to have that card. It's just another enabler. So, I was just sitting in my deck. And I consider playing Garden, but quickly realized it's a bad move as my plan next turn is to summon another centipede or a hopper. <laughs> He reveals to me that he draws the most dead card in the world against me. Now here it might not have been absolutely terrible. Like if he attacked with Leviathan Dragon over the Centipede and then set the Snowman Eater, I would have had two threats to deal with, so... That might have actually been a reasonable line, but he opted not to take it. That's the thing, like when, I, when you don't have Dragonfly, this deck is really bad at dealing with multiple threats. Well, it's really good at like preventing threats from coming to the table with a ton of back row and black garden. It's really tough to beat a fully developed board when you don't have a dragonfly. That's another reason why I probably should have held the dragonfly. Like, I really don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so, I put Hornet to the back row. Try to hop the Lives and Dragon again. This time it actually happens. And I again opt to not attack into deep prison. Just set my back row. He's already played Storm, so I don't even have to play around it. So just set bottomless, set garden, and it's pretty much a hard lock now. Now this is when it gets funny. Because I had my turn. He draws a card. Then pay attention to the chat box. I don't know if you can read it, but this is where it's funny. Right after I draw the complete hard lock. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I can go off and combo now, but I can't win because of Garden. <laughs> yep. And that's the deck. <laughs> so this game drags on for two more turns, but yeah. He says this isn't going on YouTube. It almost didn't. But then I decided this was too funny to not post on YouTube, so I'm doing the post commentary. Usually wouldn't bother doing this, but I enjoy watching windups fizzle and die. <laughs> As I explained, watching windups lose is always fun. It really doesn't feel like I beat windups, it feels like I beat some deck that just drew terrible. Because really that's what happens. <laughs> he just drew terrible, and I crushed him with. Insector monsters that really didn't need to do anything. So I, I uh, just get back the Hornet, pop his back row. Just to play around Deep Prison and Mirror Force again, I hit a Deep Prison. I consider summoning a Hopper here, but I realize I don't oh, wait. Gotta get that Ladybug out first. Yeah, I consider summoning a hopper here and then popping the token, but the extra damage isn't actually worth the dark hole risk because he goes to 4,000 with this one attack. So it's still the same clock. No reason to summon another monster into a dark hole. Then I just set compulsory and have even more of a hard lock. Same. Uh... She explains my options, tell me I have to overextend the kill garden, but then he loses the hornet. And I explain to him that that is how the deck works. <laughs> so yeah, the deck's very good at setting up these mid-game locks that you see here and you saw in game one. They can usually set them up much earlier than this, but he had the storm, and the storm really hurts the deck when you don't draw a bribe or a solemn. But again, that's 15% on their opening hand, and slightly higher with duality as this turns go by. 
He explained the state that make him want to quit the format, like Invectors made him want to quit the last format, and I agree with him. I think Hornet should have been banned, but hey, I apologize. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know why Hornet is still a card. He explains that we aren't friends anymore. We're actually not friends anymore. He took me off aim. Kind of sad. No, he didn't actually take me off aim. <laughs> and I draw an irrelevant card. And yeah, I just pop his back row, compulsory his monster, and he's dead. And that was the match. So until next time, YouTube. Hopefully I don't have to do this again and XSplit doesn't screw up on me again. So yeah, until next time. That's the Injector deck.